Our coach, whenever you're ready. Yeah, no, clearly a disappointing loss. Um, you know, great crowd today. And, you know, we had the game right where we wanted it twice. You know, we had a three-run lead with Keener on the mound and nine outs to get. And we had a three-run lead with Manasi on the mound and three outs to get and uh, couldn't close it out. But a couple of big walks in those situations where gave him a couple too many free base runners and, you know, obviously the home run hurt us. But, um, you know, give credit to Boston College. They battled their starter, Flynn, and the, and the guy that threw at the end, West. Um, you know, those two guys stoned us pretty much all day today. So a little disappointed in our offensive approach at times. Um, you know, didn't grind enough at-bats. But, again, give credit to Boston College. They uh, they played a good ball game today, and, you know, we'll answer. We'll come out tomorrow. we got Josh Hartle on the mound with a chance to win our eighth series of the year. So kind of have it right where we want it. What? At this point in the season, everything gets a little compressed and a little bit more tense, you might say. But what do you tell your team to the point after the game that sees all in the late innings and then you got to win? Yeah, you tell them you got to turn the page quickly. You know, baseball is one of those sports where, you know, whether it's pitch to pitch or at bat to a bat or game to game, you've got to be able to kind of forget about the past. And, you know, I don't think we did enough of that in today's game. We took one at bat into the next, one pitch into the next. You know, Keener. You know, again, felt like um, he had a couple pitches that should have went his way, and it, he let it affect the next two hitters. And then all of a sudden, you know, he gives up a home run to the to their nine hole hitter. Um, you know, and all of a sudden it's a tie game. So, you know, in our sport, you know, you can't you can't let things affect you from pitch to pitch and and uh, at bat to at bat. We I thought we did that today. Um, it sped up on us a little bit, and then so we've got to turn that the other direction and answer them all. Each hit, uh, Brian, stretched the series. Uh... Did the right game? What was the thought process behind that? I know it cashed in at that point in time. Uh, what was the thought process there? Yeah, Sess, you know, Sess has been scuffling a little bit, hasn't had great at bats. I've been wanting to get Rhino in there, give him a chance. You know, I was I was proud of him in that first at bat. He stayed on the back side of the field. And then, you know, the two at bats after that, I thought just got a little quick on him. You know, he kind of got back into pole mode. So, you know, Rhino's so good when he when he kind of is willing to stay on the back side of the field and you know, the guy that Reinish came up against in that first at bat was a good matchup for Jake, um, you know, and, you know, maybe in retrospect, I should have gone to Danny, um, you know, against against West might have been a little better matchup. But um, but again, Jake's a guy, a proven guy and, you know, a guy that we want up there in big situations. When the team was, when you guys were in the lead, did it feel like you reverted back to something you'd mentioned early in the season playing not to lose at all? I don't think so. I mean, I think Cam, you know, Cam, I thought the first two hitters pitched a little tentatively, um, you know, and I thought Keener, you know, after the first hitter pitched a little tentatively, but both those guys kind of rebounded and, and made pitches. I mean, you know, when you're the home team in the ninth, 10th and 11th, you know, you probably should find a way to score, you know, again, punch across a run. We had a leadoff hitter on in one of those innings, Brock got on on a walk and, you know, we move them over and, and uh, you know, probably just need to have, you know, a little couple little better at-bats there, kind of put a little more pressure on them when in a tie game when you're the home team. Specifically in terms of the at-bats earlier on in the game, what, what were your thoughts on those? Yeah, I mean, again, Flynn, you know, give credit to Flynn. He was landing his slider, um, you know, all the game, and we didn't do a very good job adjusting to that. I mean, those five innings, two hits, you know, three strikeouts, I mean, you know, in those of those 15 outs, three were strikeouts, nine were were kind of lazy fly balls. So 12 of our, you know, 12 of our 15 outs, you know, came where, where BC didn't really have to work. So we just we just didn't really put any pressure on on Flynn. Um, you know, which again, I thought I thought we we should have been more willing to sit slider uh, on him, and we you know we just didn't do a good job making that adjustment. How many years it for for you and the guys in the dugout to see Boston College pound out six home runs and. Your team only get one extra base hit the entire game. It's kind of really backwards what you're kind of used to out of the stadium. Yeah, again, and that's that's baseball. I mean, that happens. You know, I think two of their guys, you know, one of their guys had his first homer of the year. You know, another guy maybe has two in the year. So, you know, we just we just made bad pitches. And in this ballpark, if you make bad pitches, it's gonna it's gonna come back to get you. What in particular with those bad pitches? What what you can use on that particular day and the other play with? Yeah, the home run Keener gave up was just kind of a hanging change up, um, you know, to the to the nine hole hitter. And then, um, you know, the, the home run Manasi gave up was just, you know, kind of right in that left handed swing path, you know, that slider down and in is kind of right in the swing path of the lefty. So he's got to either, 
kind of get that in more or or down more in that situation. So it just caught just a little too much plate. And then the one, you know, the one Cole gave up to Vetrano was just a supposed to be a buried breaking ball and he, and he elevated it. Let's see about uh, Sean. Sean's all of a sudden trouble on the plate early in the game. He walked three of the first five or six batters. What was going on there? Yeah, I think, again, I think Sean, you know, pitches a little better when he's kind of, you know, angry. Sometimes when he puts it on cruise control, it, that happens. He loses the zone a little bit, and then he kind of locks it back in. So, you know, that first inning, obviously, those two hits, you know, those two walks, and then, the you know, and then the the kind of the, the ball in front of our left fielder there. Again, you know, I don't know that either team hit a ball hard in the first five innings of the game. Johnson lined out, but other than, other than Johnson's line out, I think that was the only hard hit ball in the first five innings of the game for either team. Now, for the for the first time since I believe it was over a month, this is the longest Solon has gone gone. He hadn't reached five innings in a month, so was it a little surprising to you to have to dig so deep in the bullpen? Well, again, it was that's just a factor of being extra innings. I mean, we we kind of had the game where again right where we wanted it. We got six out of Sullivan. We got two out of Keener. You know, we get the last three outs from Manasi, and you look back at that game, and you're like, hey, that's a routine win. That's, that's what it's supposed to look like, and. You know, we just didn't get those three outs. Sort of mean, yeah. As soon as you talked to the team, I think after the game, what was the main takeaway? What was, your, what was the main message you gave them? Yeah, the main message is we've got a chance to win our eighth series of the year tomorrow, and we've got to turn the page quickly and and get back to playing, you know, Deacon baseball. You know, we're proud of this team. We've got a really good team. It's a really great crowd. I anticipate another really great crowd tomorrow. So, you know, I, you know, I'd rather I'd rather have our team than any other team in the country. Keener, Manassi, Roland, Keener, available at all tomorrow? And if not, it's, it's the plan. Manassi and Roland, no. Keener, yes. You know, his pitch count was pretty low. So we'll have Keener and Massey, you know, at the end of the game um, for sure. And then, you know, we'll have Ariola, Crum, you know, Chase, Will Ray, um, if we need anybody to bridge between Hartle and those guys. But we'll have Massey for an inning and we'll have Keener for an inning for sure. And aside from, you know, this being – potentially being the eighth straight, you know, series winning conference, how big would it, would, what would it open them up for this team? Well, it's huge. I mean, we, I mean, we've got to get some separation between us and the rest of the league. You know, we're first, first things first, we want to win our division. Second thing, second, we want to win the league. Um, and those things are still right in front of us, um, you know, with, with seven games to go. So, you know, again, we keep winning series. I'm not, I'm not sure we can lose, you know, the league if we keep winning series. Thank you.